In this video, we are going to cover a few tips about working with UVs in 3D Coat. The first one is using the E panel so that you can use different methods for selection. What I mean by that is I can hit the E key and bring the E panel from here to my cursor and I can choose a standard brush draw mode. You can click individual islands or shells, whichever you prefer to call it. And I can hold the shift key to multi-select but I cannot really brush select with the brush modes. There is a brush mode here, but that is for tweaking with a brush the individual vertices and the shape of the islands, but it's not for brush selection, okay? Normally, by default, you'll be working in islands mode, so you can move your furniture around, so to speak, and if you need, you can multi-select with a shape draw mode rather than having to pick one island at a time in a brush draw mode, which can be rather tedious when you have to select many different UV islands. So you want to hit the E key and then select a shape draw mode. Now all we have to do is drag select over the UV islands. Yeah, and then the next thing I want to point out, you can drag select in an empty area to essentially deselect. You can also hit Control D, which is a universal deselection keyboard combination in 3D Coat, which is the same keyboard combination you use in Photoshop to deselect a mask. So it's easy to remember. And you can use that for freeze mask selections as well as pose selections and a number of different options. If you select a group of polygons or vertices or edges, you can hit Control D in order to deselect them. All right, now on to tip number two. Perhaps we want to select this windshield trim UV island in order to rotate it exactly 90 degrees. You can come all the way over to the tool panel, but that is somewhat inefficient. Instead, you can hit the space bar and that will allow you to make the selection. But you also have another option here and that is the right mouse button menu, which I use when working with either models in the modeling workspace or retopo meshes. It's like the quads menu in 3ds max so to invoke that in 3d code as of this recording i've asked andrew the the chief developer if he would enable that maybe with a, a hotkey like shift or control to invoke the right mouse button menu but for now you can invoke it by coming over to this boundary of the panel you'll notice how the cursor changes so when i see that double arrow i can right mouse button click and bring up the right mouse button menu. If I want now, I can rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's use clockwise, and then I can drag select and move it as I need, okay, or scale it down, and so on. Okay. All right, the next tip I want to cover is packing inside a selected region of the UV space. Okay, let's say I wanted to pack all of these inside the bottom half of this UV set. How would I go about doing that? Let's go ahead and drag select all of these now. And then I want to go to UV settings. In this panel, I'll have options to adjust this highlighted section that I see here. So if I want to confine it to the top half, I can adjust that, or confine it to the bottom half. I can do that here. And I wanna check pack selected in rectangle. You can also minimize the distance in between the individual islands here. Let's say 25. And hit OK. So now it has, again, confined them all to this bottom half. Let's deselect. Go to, back to the fuselage. So let's try uh, to drag select. Let's say this front half here. You have different unfolding algorithms. And there are times where you don't want to unwrap the entire UV set. That can be too disruptive. 
but you may want to refresh or unfold a UV island separately without upsetting all the other islands in the UV set. You can do that and choose different algorithms. The default and the best option is the globally uniform algorithm here. So again, that's the default. I can choose to ABF. Get a little bit different result. Of course, I can preview the, the checkers here. And I can choose to LSCM. Let me deselect so I can preview that a little bit better. Okay. Um, I'll select it again and go back to GU. You can also use planar as well. And also if you have strips that are relatively uniform in terms of width, you can choose this. You can see from the icon, it can take something that's uh, a little bit distorted and make it nice and straight. Also, one other thing that might be helpful is uh, perhaps you have a model that has a lot of different UV maps and for whatever reason, you may want to combine them all into one large UV set, you know, maybe an 8K map or something like that. You can do this by choosing the unify UV option and it will basically unwrap everything into one UV space. And that's going to conclude this quick tip video for working with UVs in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.